Welcome back to Private Pilot Ground School. In this video, we'll continue talking about aviation weather and aviation forecasts. A terminal aerodrome forecast, or a TAF, is a weather forecast for a roughly a 5 mile radius around the airport. To find the TAF, go to aviationweather.gov, then you can click on TAFs at the top of the page, and either click on circles that pop up on the map, or you can scroll down and type in airport codes, and that will bring up the weather for all of those airports. This might look a little intimidating when you first see it, but don't worry, it's actually not that bad. The very first thing I want to point out are the FM lines, and those are forecast periods. So FM actually stands for from or starting at, and then it gives you a time and a date and the weather conditions. So from this point on, expect this until you get to the next line. So let's start at the very top. KIAD is our airport. The weather came out on the 30th of the month at 1910 Zulu. And this next part is the validity period, or how long the forecast is valid for. So the forecast is valid from the 30th at 19 Zulu until the 1st at 24 Zulu. So a little bit over a 24 hour period. From the time this report came out until the next from line, they expect the weather to be uh, the following. Winds will be 200 at 12 knots, 5 miles of visibility, mist, and overcast at 2500. So from the 30th at 19 Zulu until the 1st at 0 Zulu, they expect the weather to be that uh, part that I just read. Now starting on the 1st at 0 Zulu, they expect the winds to be 210 at 11, 3 statute miles of visibility, light rain showers, and overcast at 1500. And then starting at 6, there's the weather again. And then starting at 8, there's a new weather line. When you see a P, that means plus or greater than 6 miles of visibility during that forecast period. And so basically all this is, is it's like a METAR in every line, but every line has a forecast period that it starts and ends in. So it's not really that bad. There are some different little codes that you might see in this forecast. Uh, one of those is a tempo, and that's a temporary condition, and it'll give you a four-digit code of the time. So temporarily between 20 and 22 Zulu, for example, this will happen. In the summertime especially, you'll see a lot of probabilities. So it'll say PROB 40, for example. There's going to be a 40% chance of something happening, like thunderstorms, between the hours of 4 and 7 Zulu. You might also see BECMG, and that's becoming between uh, the specified hours. So let's say the wind will come from a different direction, and so they'll put that in as becoming. Uh, you might also see NSW, and that stands for No Significant Weather, but that's very rare to see. So this is virtually everything you need to know about a TAF. And now if you combine that with a METAR, and you look at both of them, uh, now you have your hourly observation and you have your forecast for roughly 24 hours ahead of time. So when you look to see if you can schedule a flight, this is something you can look at and see what the clouds and wind and all that is going to do in the next uh, day or so. So what I would recommend is to go on aviationweather.gov, type in a whole bunch of codes, um, or if you don't know codes, just click on the map, uh, find a whole bunch of weather, and try to understand what the weather is. And if you can't find a code or can't find the abbreviation for something, go ahead and look it up. Google works great. Just so you know, if you look somewhere internationally outside of the United States, you might see uh, different units like winds being in kilometers per hour or meters per second or something like that. Um, so that's something to keep an eye out for. But other than that, I think you've got a pretty good baseline for getting the weather and understanding what the weather says. We'll cover a lot more weather and meteorology and things like that, but that's coming up later. Till next time, have fun, fly safe, and always keep learning. See you next time.